Hi guys. Would you look at this day? That's absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. And I am talking about an over-the-top beautiful postcard perfect. It is a winter day. It is, I think we're in the second full day of winter here in uh, the Sunshine State. 75 degrees, 75 degrees on this spectacularly gorgeous Saturday, December 23rd, which uh, I have decided to devote this day my entire life and half of my savings account into these two fucking cedar slabs that I'm making these uh, countertops out of. Uh, which I don't even need. I mean, I don't even need any countertops. I'm, I'm just going to be replacing these absolutely beautiful, uh, what do you call that wood, hemlock up there in New York with these two cedar saps. So I already have these absolutely beautiful countertops up there in, the, in my community kitchen in my tiny houses. Don't need any countertops. So I, you know, I was out at Peanut Sawmill uh, a, a couple of days ago, and I saw these gorgeous cedar slabs, 50 bucks a pop. I said, okay, $50. So uh, I said, yeah, it, this is worth $100 for two of these. So I paid $100 for the two slabs, which is a damn good price. I mean... The other guy, his product isn't as nice, and he wants 125 So it would cost me $250 fucking dollars just for the raw slab. So I, I, I load my $100 uh, peanut sawmill investment. Fucking blue hair, get the fuck out of the way. Jesus fucking Christ. Goddamn snowbirds coming down here driving 30 miles an hour in a fucking 60. Anyway, uh, so now I am up. So I paid a hundred dollars for the slabs. Then it was time to sand the slabs. Uh, fortunately, I found a sander to borrow. The sand paper was thirty dollars. I did not trust myself to do this, so I took him to a professional sander. Uh, he charged me $70, so $100. It was $100 for the fucking slabs, and then it was $100 to get them sanded. So now I'm, uh, I have doubled the price. I, I'm into this $200. And, and then and, and then he tells me to to get some shit called epoxy, uh, and, and to fill the goddamn holes with it. What the fuck? And, and uh, that was another twenty five dollars. So another fucking twenty five dollars to get this epoxy shit to you know to fill these little dings and scratches. Uh, it, it, and, and I don't know if I've completely destroyed. I, 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 I poured $25 down the fucking toilet. Over two hours of this beautiful day, I have spent pretty much, uh, hopefully not completely destroying these, uh, th these beautiful boards with this fucking epoxy wood filler. Jesus fucking Christ. What, what, what a fucking cluster fuck all, all that was. And so now what's left is to is to uh, varnish them. And so everyone's telling me that I really need to use this oil based uh, exterior uh Varnish the spar varnish on these things. So I've seen this, up, and so I do. So I've been talked into using the oil based, which is sixty dollars for a can of that shit. Fortunately, my buddy. So I'm not even paying. I'm, I'm getting free varnish. So I'm getting free varnish, but then because I'm using oil based instead of water based. 
uh, let's see, it was seven dollars and fifty cents on the on the paintbrush, and then another seven fifty on the on, on the paint cleaner, uh, because since it's oil based, it doesn't clean up with soap and water. So even though I'm getting the free uh, varnish from my buddy and saving sixty dollars what a minute fifteen uh, dollars into there's a two hundred and uh, I'm it and and I'm forgetting what am I oh the the the, the fucking uh, epoxy so two hundred I'm, I'm two hundred and fifty dollars so uh, even with free varnish with free varnish, uh, I have gone from one hundred to two hundred and fifty dollars. And if I had had to buy my own fucking can of varnish, my one hundred dollar countertops would now be three hundred dollar countertops. So I am, uh, I, I am uh, paying three hundred dollars to replace. Two perfectly good, beautiful hemlock countertops, which actually match the wood of my tiny houses. Are you follow me? These these cedar countertops are not even going to match the rest of the hemlock tiny houses. Is what I'm going to get out of the end of all of this. Oh fuck. You know, when I when I first discovered these motherfucking cedar countertops, you know, it's when I built this outdoor kitchen out here. Went to fucking Peanuts, got the goddamn cedar slabs. I remember the guys building the kitchen. Uh, I, I said, dude, can you hit this with a hammer? I mean, with a hammer, with a sander. Can, can, uh, can you uh, smooth this out a little bit with your sander? The guy spent, uh, as I recall, I know he did not spend more than 30 minutes. Uh, he, he, he gets his goddamn sander, goes down each board. Uh, they're, they're fucking beautiful. Uh, he never mentioned the word epoxy to me. Uh, the guy spent about 30 minutes sanding uh, the two boards. I got the goddamn varnish, the water-based uh, varnish, uh, slap that fucking varnish uh, uh, on those cedar goddamn countertops. They were absolutely fucking gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Everybody who saw the goddamn things could not believe uh, how, how beautiful. Where did you get these countertops? Uh, you know, uh, this dude spent four and a half hours sanding these two boards. Four and a half hours uh, using thirty dollars worth of fucking sandpaper to sand these two boards. The the last guy who sanded two of these boards for me spent thirty minutes and probably seventy five cents on one fucking piece of sandpaper. Never fucking heard uh, uh, of epoxy. Uh, I splashed the goddamn varnish on there and and just varnished the fucking. Uh, around the holes so that they had a few little pock marks in them. Who gives a fuck? Jesus. Uh, what, what this has turned into. The, 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 and, and not to count uh, the guy that, you know, every time I come down here, so it's going to be counting the door. It's going to be three round trips to the you know to the guy doing the work for all right I, 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 the trip to peanuts is probably every time i go to peanuts it is a uh, 25 dollars in gas and i'm guessing every time i i fucking come here the round trip i'm guessing about 15 or so probably uh, I've, uh, I can add $50 uh, 
in uh, not even counting the tr original trip to Peanuts, uh, I, I can throw in another 50 fucking dollars on gas. Uh, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, uh, dealing with this shit. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. So now I'm coming down here to get the fucking varnish, to get some fucking sandpaper, uh, and, and then I'll be coming back next week to, to get my goddamn hundred dollar door, which which we can't even build because, you know, uh, we don't have the exact measurement in front of me. I can't even make the fucking door uh, until I get back to fucking New York. So I'm going to be dragging all of these fucking boards from Florida uh, back to New York so I can get one measurement. So I can get one motherfucking measurement before I even make the fucking door to replace a free door. Oh, God. It's nice to be so goddamn rich. Anyway, I have come become completely obsessed uh, over these uh, over these motherfucking boards. Oh, Jesus. All right, but get out there and en enjoy your obsession. Uh, uh, like, like, let me tell you uh, how much these two fucking cedar countertops are are, are going to mean when when this whole shit show fucking comes down. Ugh, fuck. What a way to spend a spectacularly gorgeous winter day. You know, I mean, this is the reason I am a snowbird. Right here is the reason I'm a snowbird. I, I'm trying to think of all of the 75 degree July days I, I had in New York when it was uh, 108 degrees with 85% humidity down here in Florida. Uh, <laughs> anyway, this is why I am a snowbird. Get out there and enjoy being a snowbird while you still can. Okay, dude, make your fucking turn. <sighs> My gosh.